Hello Fern fans, we're on day 29, I know I've already done one this morning um, but we're going to uh, do another little video we're going to introduce the whistle for recall so recall just means calling the dog towards you we've done that so far with word of command but now we're going to also add a whistle command in as well now I've previously done a video on introducing the whistle don't forget the whistle is just a sound it's, uh, it's nothing mysterious like some people think it is it's just a sound now I'm using a whistle made by Acme and it's a 210.5 hertz, I presume, frequency, which apparently is uh, was really good for spaniels. But you can get any kind of whistle. All it is is just a sound. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to do the same as we've always done with the recall. So my wife, the expert camera woman, is going to hold the puppy at the same time. And I'm going to go down the end of the garden. We're introducing now, taking her into the garden a little bit. What I'm going to do, she doesn't know what the whistle means. So I'm going to um, call her by saying her name and then saying come. At that point my wife's going to release her and she's going to come towards me, hopefully. Then I'm going to introduce the whistle. So for the, the, the come here command, I use pip, 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 pip on the whistle. So three sets of two pips uh, straight after each other. What the ultimate goal is when I ask the dog to come is the dog comes straight to me, sits right in front of my feet and looks up at me. So straight away I'm bearing that in mind. However, this is the first time she's done it and she's only she 10, 12 weeks old. Um, so I'm not expecting that. I'm just going to work towards that. So for now, I just want her to associate the sound of the whistle, pip, 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 meaning come to my dad. She doesn't have to sit in front of me or anything like that. Um, after that I'm going to grab her and my wife's going to do the same and then that'll do for now and we're just going to keep doing that and the reason we're introducing that at this stage is because this weekend we're going away to the North York Moors so there's going to be plenty that we're taking the dogs so there's going to be plenty of time for the dogs to be out of the car and in the moors and off the lead with us so we're going to work on that then um, so now's an, a, an ideal opportunity to get a video without any wind in the background or anything like that so we'll see how we go. So do you want to take the dog? Do you want to just crouch down and hold the collar? There you go. So I'm going to attract the dog's attention away from the wife. Hey, what's this? What's this? What's this? And it's as simple as that. So remember, until the dog knows the command, all you're doing is telling the dog what it's doing. As it was coming to me, I blew the whistle, which means come here. So I'm telling the dog you're coming here. So that's all you need to do for ages and ages and ages, loads of repetitions, be consistent and just keep repeating what the dog is actually doing, let it know what it's doing. And then over time, that'll go in as, a, as a, an imprint in the dog's mind of what the whistle means. So we'll keep you updated.